All right, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you guys have had a fabulous day so far, unless if you're watching this at oh I don't know 12:01. Probably, probably nothing much has really happened to you. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, you know. But anyways, um, you know, still on ZenCraft. Um, today I have wanted to do something that is very 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 near and dear to my heart and that is to infest this place with sugarcane so um what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab i've already assembled all of this sugarcane um oh that's not what i wanted to do okay i'm just gonna put all of this stuff up here so we have room to keep it all. I'm gonna keep my sword in my hotbar though. Um, let's use that. Okay. I'm trying to switch those. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh, all right. Yeah. I'm not quite sure why I was surprised by that. I knew that he was still there. Um. So let's get started, shall we? Um, yeah. Um, Rendog is a very uh, good let's player that I know of. Nile introduced or Zero introduced me to him. Um, he's a super cool dude, and what he does on his channel is uh, he tells stories. So, guys, I'm going to tell you. A story about me, my neighbor, two cars, and a sandwich. Now this has happened very, very recently. Uh, no one was hurt. I'm just gonna say that right now. No one was hurt. Everyone's, everyone's okay. We're still doing all right. Um, but specifically, X is okay, and I'll tell you why. David lives right next to me. I give him a ride home after school every single day. Um. But uh, we were on our way home, and uh, there's we have a neighbor named Brock. He uh, he's a senior at our high school. Uh, super cool dude, super fun to be around. Um, he, but him and his mom, both maniacs behind the wheel. It is it is. I'm surprised no children have passed on their accounts. I'm sure some have. I just don't know about. But essentially, Brock comes speeding down the road, and you know it's Brock, and he's being an idiot. But uh, he's coming down the road. He just gets incredibly close to my bumper, and David and I are just sitting out there talking. And he, like I said, he gets incredibly close. It was insane. Like I, I, I thought he was really, honestly, going to hit me, but he didn't. Um, David, on the other hand, was, uh, you know, standing there, and he's like, ah, oh, Brock's not gonna hit me, I mean, come on, he's not, you know, he's not a total idiot, he's not, can't be that stupid. Uh, hmm, David, I'm not quite sure what you were thinking, but when there's a car coming at you 45 miles an hour on a 35 mile an hour, an hour road, you may or may not want to get out of the way, just saying. Uh, David did not get out of the way, or X did not get out of the way, he, uh, he pretty much was a sandwich between my bumper and Brock's car and he was uh you know hurting he did not he did not appreciate uh two cars cramming his kneecaps together I mean I, I wouldn't I don't think anyone would I'm just saying uh yeah that is my story of David two cars and a sandwich um but another, st uh, actually, I haven't really planned that far yet. I was hoping that story would take a little bit longer, and this taking a little less shorter. Um, uh, but uh, last episode, I gave you guys a tour. I'm still new to this. You gotta give me time to understand how this whole recording thing works. Got I need to get some pointers from my people. 
so they can help me out because as you can tell I'm not very experienced at this kind of stuff um uh hmm so sugar cane right I mean uh, I really need someone to do this with um hopefully someone will get on sooner or later I really just wanted to record because I'm just so eager to um but no one's on and it kind of makes me upset yeah we're just gonna go too high and then let the last one grow um um I don't think my frame rate's the best right now uh we are almost done everyone just bear with me for a little bit we'll find something else to do I promise okay all right let's uh do I just, do you guys want to go on an adventure uh, you guys can't answer me so I guess we'll just go on an adventure uh hmm. yeah so on my adventures I bring the necessary equipment as in a pickaxe and probably a couple of them um food torches you know all the all the essential necessities and you know a bucket of water in case if I fall like I more than likely will I mean I kind of known to do that kind of stuff probably don't need an axe I like to get clean out my inventory before I go on these things may or may not need a bow might want to bring that that all looks good don't need that oh wait I have a special place to put that yeah yeah